Patterning of Eleanor Rumming by John Skelton. Tell you, Rachel, if that you will, a wheel be still of a comely dill that dwelt on a hill, but she is not grill, for she is somewhat sage and well worn in age, for her visage it would assuage a man's courage. Her lovely lair is nothing clear, but ugly of chair, droopy and drowsy, scurvy and loosey, her fass all boozy, comely crinkled, wondrously wrinkled like a rust pig's air, bristled with hair. Her lewd lips twine, they slaver men sign, like a roppy rhine, a gummy glare, she has ugly fire. Her nose some del hooked, and camusly crooked, never stopping but ever dropping, her skin loose and slack, grind like a sack with a crooked back. Her eye and gundy are full and soondy, for they are blared and she cry herred, jawed like a jetty, a man would have pity to say who she is gummed, fingered and thumbed, gently jointed, grazed and anointed, up to the knuckles, the bones of her huckles leak as they were with buckles together mad fast. Her youth is far past, footed like a plan, legged like a crown, and yet she will jet leak a jolly fet in her furred flocket and grey russet rocket with simper the cocket. Her hook of Lincoln grain, it had been hersey when more than forty year, and so doth it appear, for the grain bar threads look like sere weeds, withered like high, the wool worn away, and yet either sigh she thinketh herself guy upon the holy day when she doth her array and girds in her geetes, stitched and pranked with plates, her kirtle bristol red, with clothes upon her head that why a sou of lead, writhen in wonder wheeze after the Saracen's geese, with a whim wham knit with a trim tram upon a brown pan, like an Egyptian capped a boot, when she goes oot. Herself for to show, and driveth down the dew with a pair of hells as broad as twa whales. She hobbles as a gauze with her blanket hose over the fallow, her shone smeared with tallow, raised upon dirt that bowdeth her skirt.